Hey you guys, it's Steffi. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone had a good day. So um, I wanted to show you guys how my makeup held up. I've had it on for, um, sorry, I was just shutting my door, but I didn't want to shut Chloe out. I've had it on for about 12 hours and I wanted to show you how it held up. See up here is where I sweat. So some of that came off but that's probably just for me wiping it away but i wanted to show you the foundation how it held up and then the powder under my eyes you can see i have wrinkles here but as you can see the powder or the foundation didn't really set in my wrinkles you would normally see like a you know a bunch of settling foundation I guess is what I'm trying to say um the only thing I did with my makeup is I reapplied my lipstick a couple of times as it it's been 12 hours so it looks like crap right now but somebody asked me to do a nighttime video of how that's weird why did it just go fuzzy I think my lens is dirty but they wanted me to show how I did my nighttime routine. So now that I actually have a routine, I'll show you that. And I don't have my contacts in, so I'll be like scrubbing my eyes. And you see my, my eyebrows, after a while, they just, they just kind of disappear. So I bought these new eyebrows and they're actually black and I, they're, I, they seem like they're a little smaller than my other. See, here's the ones that I've been wearing. Can, will it focus? Maybe you can see it better this way. These are the ones I've been wearing. And then these are the ones that I will be wearing. So as you can see, these new ones are a lot smaller. So I don't know if, I, if I'm if i gonna like that or not because I kind of wanted like big bushy eyebrows. But I'll try them on tomorrow and see how, it, how they look. And if I don't like them, then I will find some new ones. Okay, let me put that up. I'm gonna take my eyelashes off. And take all the, I always take all the extra glue off my eyelashes. And then I'll save these eyelashes for another time. I just have like a, a little compartment thing and I just stick old eyelashes to it. So these are eyelashes that I will use again. And then all I do is I take um, my, I have a bag of these reusable um, makeup pads but I don't use those to take off my makeup. I just use it to take off my lipstick. But then I have these, I have a bunch of these like individual like washcloths, but they're smaller than washcloths. And I got like 15 of them. It came with 15 in that and the bunch. So I use that to take off my makeup because it's a lot easier to take off makeup with a washcloth than it is with these, um, reusable things here so I just use this for my lipstick it's okay if I look like a clown for a minute and then I put oh I use micellar water by the way and then I take some, the blue micellar water because that takes off waterproof makeup. And I just put some on my little washcloth thing. And I start with my eyes. And I very carefully, I, I'm, I'm in the habit of like scrubbing too hard around my eyes. So I'm really trying to be careful with that. Like it looks like I'm pushing really hard, but I'm really not. I'm not pushing that hard. I put some more micellar water on there. I probably use more micellar water than I really need to. I 
I go through a lot of it. So I just, I clean, like, especially around my eyelashes, I clean that off really good to get all of the extra glue off of the eyelashes. Uh, I shake up my bottle again. You got to shake up the, the blue one, the ones with the blue caps because it's got oil in it. I think that's what takes off the waterproof makeup. And then I'll go in with the face. Sometimes I can get my eyebrows off just by doing this, but it looks like they want to stick on a little bit, so I'll show you how I get my eyebrows off. Go around one more time around my face. All right, and then I take these two things and I put it in a mesh bag, a mesh laundry bag that I have hanging up on my wall. And then when it's time, when I start to run out of it, I'll just throw them in the wash, in the wash with my, with my other laundry. Okay, so let me make sure these are dry. And then what I do is I take clear tape just your average clear tape and I put it over my eyebrow and I rub it in make sure it's st stuck real good on there and then I take it and it's just like getting waxed and then it takes the eyebrow most of the way off some sometimes it'll do it all the way off but sometimes I have to do it a couple of times see and you can see it right up on the tape maybe maybe not I don't know if you can or not so I'm just gonna go over one more time See? And it comes off. So recently I've bit the bullet and I bought some Old Lady Cream, AKA Oil of Olay eye cream so you can see that I have crow's feet and then I have like wrinkles under here and then I have a wrinkle right here from looking at people like they're crazy but I have all these wrinkles all around my eyes so I just bought this I actually just started using this last night so I take a dab and I'll put it on each side I'm not even sure how much I'm supposed to use. Probably not too much, right? And then I just kind of go all the way around my eye. The reason I started using this was because I don't want wrinkles to get deeper on my eyes. And also because when I take my makeup off, I'm left with I, I noticed that it kind of burns around my eyes, just not on my, like around my eyes, but on the skin, like down here, it burns. So I know that I have like thin skin around there. Um, 
So I want to protect my skin. So then after that, I go into my e.l.f. Holy Hydration. If you watch my makeup videos, you see me using this all the time. I use this um, before I do makeup and at night. I just rub that in. And I kind of avoid the area around my eyes or I put the oil of Olay. And that's it. That is my skincare routine when I take off my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys tomorrow.